All right, guys, welcome back to the YouTube video here at the DMV. Uh, I walked in to get my license renewed because it expired last month, which I didn't know anything about until someone asked to see my license. And they're telling me that I can't renew here. I need to go to Edentown. <laughs> I need an appointment. And I drive a lot, so I do not want to be driving without a license. So, so I can get an appointment today to get over there. Hopefully it's early because I got work. I got stuff to do. I got people to meet at the gyms. You know what I mean? So see what we got, make that appointment, and hopefully get into the Edentown spot. And that place is a madhouse. Chaos all day long. Let's see what we got. All right, guys. So after that whole ordeal of I can't renew my license online earlier i went online to set an appointment for edentown it says to me i can renew it online it took me like 30 seconds i don't know I'm not sure what they what they know and what they don't know over at these dmvs but the license is renewed i have a little like temporary license that uh, i could throw in the car just trying to pack up while i'm chatting with you guys but I could throw the license in the car, it's a temp. I should get mine in like 10, 15 days, something to that effect. And it was free. It didn't cost me a thing. So, it's one little positive for the DMV, somewhat. <laughs> um, got a YouTube video edited earlier today. It was messing up all night last night. So I got it done for some reason. One of the files was corrupted, don't know. Redid the whole thing and it's up and edited. I just have to make it live probably at some point this week. So you're going to get a video from me often. I'm trying to put out videos often. And um, what else? We got we got, we got got a delivery today. Hoodies, t-shirts, long sleeve tees, some new stuff coming out. Um, heading over to Bayonne LA Fitness today. Doing a double header again on Thursday for their MAD. Uh, I'm going to be in... I'm all over the place. T tomorrow, eSporter. I'm in a new gym. Never stepped foot into an eSporter gym before. Going to be out there with the guys in Randolph. So that's exciting. Want to see what that clientele base looks like. Because there's a bunch of them. And I'm not there. So might as well jump into those locations as well. Um, Thursday... I am over in, damn, drawing a blank. Oh, Carney during the day and Hanover at night. Yeah, Carney during the day. I just switched that. Carney is going to be Thursday during the day, Hanover at night. Just excited about that. I haven't been to Hanover for a few, so that should be cool. Um, yeah, new stuff. The joggers, stretch cargo joggers are selling really nice on. The gym events so i'm excited for that photo shoot soon um i think we're going to be doing a photo shoot with val Quan. i want to say friday i'm going to try for friday i want to go over to princeton and do like a college themed type setting on a photo shoot so we have that and i think that's going to be set for friday if it doesn't rain out that's the goal um more photos back here for new product what else let's go new new video come on you guys sit back relax hang out I'm gonna go through my week i think i also have a roofer coming in this week to fix the one part of the roof which is going to be the uh soft um flashing around the chimney we're going to try that and see if that works to start so we're rolling. Project X is rolling, rolling, rolling. Uh, I promised I would talk to you about the Project XX from the meeting last week. And so, let me give you a scenario. She owns a juice bar at, in the, she owns a gym and there's a juice bar in the gym. She was looking for a partner. I just feel like it wasn't a click between the two of us. It was kind of like the meeting went all her way and she wanted it done her way and she wanted things done the way she wanted it and it doesn't really work that way in a partnership i'm willing to negotiate 
and kind of come to a mutual agreement, maybe use some of her ideas, maybe use some of my ideas. But I felt like the meeting went strictly only her ideas mattered and mine didn't. And so kind of cut the meeting short with her um, last week and we we're supposed to reconvene this week. Well, Monday, which was yesterday, um, I never bothered texting her back. She's on vacation for the next week, so I'm not too concerned on that. But uh, I think I'm going to scrap that idea for right now. I don't think it was a good fit for the two of us. And so I'm not going to move forward with stuff that I don't really um, click with with people. So that's out. Um, but she was a great person. I don't have any hard feelings. It's just she owns a business and she knows what she wants. And that's fine. But I also own a business and I know what I want. And that's fine too. So that being said, let's get out of here. It's time to go home and eat, head to the gym, catch you guys later today. Um, do I got any new stuff to show you guys? I don't have anything new to show you guys yet. No, but I have a ton of samples for females that I'm liking a bunch of them. So we got to get someone to try them on. I do uh, six or eight people normally to try on some samples and get their feedback on some of the stuff. So fabric and how it fits. Let's go, let's get out of here, catch you guys later today. So you guys killed it today at Bayonne LA Fitness. Decided to come out to Costco to get myself a little sundae. A little banana on top, grab some bananas, throw one in there, boom, banana split. And I'm heading home, gonna be getting some food, maybe on the way home, it's like 8, 8.30ish, something in that ballpark, but had to pick up a couple other things at Costco. Heading back home, dinner soon. Let's go, guys. Tomorrow we're in LA Fitness Randolph. Never been there. It's an eSporta. Excited to see what you guys have to offer. eSporta in Randolph. Let's get home. Catch you guys later today or tomorrow or whatever. But I know shipments came in today, so we got some more stuff on the on on the uh, horizon. I'll show you that tonight or tomorrow. Probably pick it up, probably open it up tomorrow at the warehouse. I'll catch you guys later. Enjoy some Sunday on the way home. Good morning, YouTube fam. It's uh, around like 7.15, 7.30 in the morning. Here at the office already. Hoodies all over the place. T-shirts, shorts, hoodies all back over there. Um, getting ready to print the first round of the 2023 winter hoodies got some new colors i want to try out some of the old colors coming back in stock and uh it's gonna be a day of printing i got a ton of stuff to get done on the computer as well which is why i'm here pretty early but some big stacks stacks over there and we're good to go let's get today going um where are we today? Uh, Randolph. LA Fitness Randolph. Oh, not LA Fitness. East Border Randolph uh, today. I'm going to try to get some photos done while I'm here at the office after the prints are all done and uh, over with. So let's get the day started. Catch up with you guys later today. What's up, guys? I figured I'll jump on while I'm working. Do a little recording for YouTube. So I'm actually just got done printing up hoodies. Um, I have two different designs on hoodies right now. We're working on a third design. Um, it's actually, it was an older design that I only put on shirts, um, t-shirts, and everyone loved it. So I'm gonna wind up bringing that back. Uh, just waiting for transfers to show. And we're gonna be up and running. I got some music on in the background here but um yeah i printed a uh a good amount of uh, hoodies for right now and um yeah that's where i'm up to at, at the moment you know oh hold on i'm gonna wind up getting a copyright freaking 50 cent music going on um so yeah some of the hoodies are um colors from last year that we're just bringing back you know the standard black the grays all that stuff but um i have another color hold on 
Another color that I'm launching, kind of like a periwinkle blue-ish color. So this is gonna be a new hoodie color for this winter. Uh, I'm excited for that one. I kind of like that color for myself. It's funny, I did a um, coral sunset or sunset coral color last year and um, I liked it so I put it out for everybody else and turns out that a lot of people liked it as well so that's uh, another color that we have for this year and I'm trying to think what else we got going on new t-shirts possibly yeah bunch of stuff and so I'm here obviously showed up early if you saw the last clip you saw that I was here early and uh, trying to get stuff done. It's currently 11.30. I'm still working on hoodies. So hoodies and tees, I should say. Um, T-shirts are done too. So hoodies and tees. And I still have a ton of stuff to get done before I leave here. So I was hoping to be ahead of schedule. Turns out to be behind schedule again. But all good. So that's part of the day. As you see me on my journey throughout the day kind of doing the same stuff there are other things that I get done just sometimes I forget to record it and or feel like I'm a little bit busy to record so I don't but um yeah here chat with you guys for the morning or early afternoon I should say so that's it for that what else we got going on um Photo shoot Friday is with um, confirmed with Val Kwan, one of my brand ambassadors, and Kristen, which is one of the girls that did a photo shoot with me in the past. If you are on the website, you'll see, or social media, you'll see her on there. Um, we had fun. She came here a little nervous in the beginning, um, opened up, and we had some fun on the photo shoot. So. We're going to be doing a photo shoot on Friday over in Princeton. And uh, trying to get like a college-y vibe. That's going to pull that off on Friday. But college-y vibe for Friday. And it's going to be joggers, the stretch cargo pant, and hoodies for the most part. Is going to be the uh, the items that we're shooting. See, it? <laughs> trying to trying to work and record, and I'm getting confused. But that's pretty much it. Just wanted to jump on, show you guys a little different side of me being in the office doing the same thing every day. Um, there is other work that needs to get done. So, and I do actually, I do print out, I do print all of my hoodies and t-shirts so that requires some time and effort and so that's what I'm putting in time and effort funny enough it reminds me of my uh, retail days back in the day Express would have this and for my Express people don't know how many are still doing it but there used to be a, um, a polo wall at Express the polo wall was pretty much ceiling to floor and uh, you would fold the polos and if you know the polo has for express a little like lion thing on the whatever you would fold the polos and every logo on the chest would line up straight up and down like perfectly even and the sides of the polos would be perfectly I think I think there's like two or three people that mastered it my boy Yao was one of them, and myself, and it was a headache and a half to, and at that time we didn't really have a board per se to fold off of, so it's kind of like freehanding it sort of thing, pain in the ass, but uh, yeah, learn that, and I'm actually folding right now, can't see it, but folding shirts right now freehanded and they're coming out somewhat okay right now it's been a while man it's been a while for folding polos so 
Anyway, catch you guys later today. Um, just wanted to record this really quick. Damn, six minutes in? Man, don't mind the mess back there. Um, catch you guys later. Bye. All right, so it's been quite a few years since I approached a new gym in East Florida. Pretty much part of LA Fitness, but different branch, sister, parent, whatever company you want to call it. Let's get in here and get some money. So Friday afternoon, running around in the office all day, wanted to uh, let you guys know you guys absolutely killed it, murdered it. LA Fitness in Kearney yesterday, LA Fitness in Hanover yesterday. You guys over the top with sales, uh, wiped me out on Hanover. I was pretty much out of sizes on stuff. Um, at the end of the night, you guys rocked it. Thank you again for whoever followed me yesterday. I had a bunch of people on TikTok that followed me, Instagram that followed me. A few people even ordered on uh, TikTok because TikTok is giving out discount coupons for my products. So some people were getting like 70% off on TikTok. $15 pairs of joggers that are $40 on the website. Um, so you guys are killing it. Thank you. I'm going to go and enjoy the rest of the day here. I've had uh, a video that needs to be uploaded um, onto YouTube. However, for some reason, it's not taking the last clip of the video. So I got to re-edit that. So if you were seeing this video, the last one that went up took a whole hell of a lot of time to do. Go back, give it a quick follow, get that video uh, boosted a little bit. So I at least could say that it was worth putting the video together um i do have some q a as well i said that on the last video i'm saying it on this video i have a few questions that i may answer here at the end of this video so let's see but um working on some new stuff i had a photo shoot that was supposed to go down today that we had to cancel and um still doing photos the backdrop is still up I have, I think, a photo shoot here on Sunday, I'm hoping, with a new model that I haven't worked with yet. So I'm going to leave this down, um, trying to confirm time for Sunday, but I think that's going to be a guaranteed go. She is a model, and so she knows what she's doing. She can get in here, get things done. We can get in and out pretty quick. Inventory is done. Um, some of the stuff actually is selling out on the website pretty quick, so if you're interested in going on the website go on the website support your boy go buy something for the value i'm giving you that's all i'm asking just support on the site so i can keep on bringing out more products to you guys and uh i'm hungry i'm gonna go grab some food at home i have my sister down for the weekend and so we're gonna be doing something for later on and parties birthday parties throughout the weekend family dinners, a uh, whole bunch of stuff. So let me get some more stuff shipped out that uh, was selling on eBay and online while I was doing some stuff on the computer. Catch you guys later today. Don't forget, jackets are also out um, on the website. A couple of colors. So if you're interested, go check it out. Catch up with you guys later. So Sunday's the day. I'm here at the office and uh, we have a photo shoot. I have a photo shoot with, I think her name is Anika. Is a referral through my friend Mike. Uh, she is a model, she's a makeup artist, and also a hairstylist from what I get from her. And she's gonna give me some tips. So we kind of chatted on the phone for a little bit. I like where she's going with things, and curious to see uh, how this photo shoot goes. First, I would say photo shoot with like a professional model. I think, um, from if I can recall correctly, first photo shoot with the professional model. Um, Lights are ready to go. Got a bunch of stuff here and those boxes for her to uh, do the photo shoot with. And so had to come early, clean up a little bit, organize, get things kind of situated here. And so trying to continuously upload uh, a video, YouTube video between the one that you're seeing now and the last one, there should have been one right in the middle. And I can't seem to get it loaded. Uh, it doesn't want to format correctly when it goes from Adobe Premiere Pro over to being saved, I guess, for an MP4 file to upload to YouTube. Technical terms that I don't know, and so I try to edit it. 
cut out the one that seemed to be the problem with the clip and I had a weeks long video ready to go and we're not able to do that. So backtrack to about a week or so ago and I guess I'll recap it here because I'm not sure how much footage was on that. But I have Project X which is uh, moving forward getting that taken care of and kind of uh, designing stuff and not, not to say much about it but Project X is moving forward and then I had a Project XX that got presented to me that I put it in a XX because it was after the last project but uh, long story short I had someone that connected me to someone that owned a gym locally in my area she has a juice bar in the gym that she's looking to either uh, partner with someone or do it on her own. And her biggest thing was she'd rather partner with someone. So we got a chance to sit down and meet over at her gym, toured the facility, uh, looked at her juice bar. And it's actually a pretty big juice bar. It's kind of like a store within the gym. It's not like a little like kiosk looking thing. So there's a lot we can do with it. And I had a lot of, uh, of ideas for her. Uh, but when we got a chance to sit down and talk, I got the vibe that she has the vision and it's only going to be her way. And uh, being with a partner, it doesn't work that way. Partnership needs to be two ways. And so after my initial conversation with her and talk, um, which went pretty well, she was, she was friendly. I'm not going to say anything bad about that. She was friendly. I just got the vibe that she wanted things her way and it was only her way. And so uh, with that, I decided to not move forward with her on partnering with that location. Um, which is kind of why I don't like partners. <laughs> not a big partner with someone type person, but you know, listen, if you're gonna move mountains, you gotta partner with people. You gotta have the right group of people to, to help you with that. So. I felt it was a um, an open to just sit with her and talk, and that was fine. But uh, moving forward, we are not moving forward together. Haven't talked to her yet about it, only because she was leaving the next day for vacation for like a week, week and a half. So she should be probably back this somewhat this week coming up. And so I'll let her know that I've decided on not moving forward with that. Um, I felt like it was going to take way too much of my time being there and with running businesses and now project x coming about um it, it would have been a big a big big undertaking and the biggest part of that was i was looking to possibly partner with her get it up and running for a little bit and then hire people staff it and let the staff run the business for 90 percent of the time uh, obviously coming in and overseeing everything and making sure the books are correct and inventory and all this other stuff and customer service, I get it. But for the most part, it would have been an operation that would have been run with employees there um, as she's also there in the gym. So any big problems or big fires, we could put those out quick. Anyway, um, it's Sunday, folks. <laughs> we have a photo shoot. Um, family day I guess we have a birthday party today got to run into Staten Island and yeah got a few questions for my Q&A so I don't know when I'm gonna do the Q&A but it uh, I'm gonna run a Q&A just YouTube video and um, not gonna be long couple couple questions that I'm sure you guys have so hoping to get that up and running soon and I'm just ranting at six minutes with you guys. So I am going to end this video here so I can get up a, vi a YouTube video in the mix of the one that was messed up. I'm hoping you guys are having a great weekend. Let's keep it rocking. Get your ass out there. Accomplish some goals. And while you're at it, do me a favor. Like down below. Smash that subscribe button. Let's get this video shoot going. Until the next video, guys, thank you for the support. Have a great weekend.